if muscles were just like rubber bands, we could thoroughly develop a muscle with one exercise. We would just need to lengthen it out and put a heavy load on it and we could just evenly stress the entire structure and develop it thoroughly that way. However, our muscles, fascia, tendon, you know, our soft tissue architecture is actually way more complex than a rubber band. And because of that, we need at least some variety when it comes to structural development. Okay, so for example, uh, this is why, you know, we need hip hinges and a knee flexion exercise for the hamstrings. However, this is not just a free license to invent any exercise and call it great. I actually think that we are typically too open-minded when it comes to our exercise selection. I think we need to be more skeptical and use more critical thinking. Ask the questions, are the potential adaptations to this exercise meaningful or am I just learning a random exercise and getting better at that exercise? And two, is the stimulus strong enough compared to what uh, all, all the other things I'm doing, is the stimulus strong enough to actually cause adaptation? To be able to answer these questions well, we need to keep pursuing greater understanding of anatomy, physiology, and biomechanics.